everyone. Welcome back to my channel on Bogey King. As you can see today, I'm at a driving range. Bogey King is actually on vacation this week, but there's always time for golf. And so we're here today to work on some things, to have some fun. And really, I wanted to bring this to you because I think if you're someone who's new to golf or has been in golf for a while, the driving range is a great tool to help you improve. If you're new to golf, it's a place to come, hit the clubs, get used to it, get a feel for it. Before you even go to the course, I recommend coming to a driving range. If you've been in golf for a while, you know that a range is a great place to work on those specific things you want to work on or just really round out your overall game. Uh, today, I'm going to work through my wedges all the way up to my driver and just really kind of build that consistency. But again, if you're new to golf, it's a great way to improve, a great way to get a feel for it. A lot of places will let you rent clubs or borrow clubs. Uh, so you don't have to have clubs. Just go and try it out and see if you like it. As you know, here at Bogey King Golf, we're here to educate, to inspire, and to have some fun. And so we want you, if you're new to golf, to love it. If you're thinking about golf, we want you to try it. And if you've been in golf for a while, we want you to improve. So if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that like, hit that bell to get notified. We've got new videos every week at 11 a.m. Uh, you can sit back, you can relax, and enjoy today's video. And uh, yeah, here we go, off to hitting some balls. So when I get to the range, first thing I do is I like to tend to scope out a spot that's far away from everybody else. So we're at the very end of the, of the range here. Especially when I'm filming, I don't want to be distracting to other players, but I like to work on things. I like to kind of have my own space, so this works out really well. Um, obviously, you want to bring your bag, you want to bring your glove. Uh, depending upon the range, I usually buy a large bucket of balls, gives me plenty of, of uh, balls to hit and plenty of time. Uh, the one thing that I tend to do, and everyone's different, but I actually tend to start from my uh, wedges, work through my irons, and then get to my driver. I used to just pull the driver out and start going crazy, but I found it's a better warm up to start with my you know, irons, my wedges, work the way up to the driver. Um, but first we wanna stretch, we wanna you know, really pull our arms out, uh, get the blood flowing. I'm actually going to take my driver out for this. I'm going to, you know, I showed you my videos before where I did the course log and I really, stretched it out but you want to you know again get that blood flowing and moving you want to get the muscles relaxed and get yourself to a point where you're not going to hurt yourself when you're playing so just like any place all, the, all these places have rules so this place you can only hit your shots off the mat obviously you don't want to hit the concrete because you're going to mess your clubs up you don't want to go in the grass because you'll be too far forward so from this point I'm gonna drop a few shots right off of the mat and then just get myself warmed up. My routines are also, I like to empty my pockets. I like to make sure that I'm just playing the way that I would play when I'm on the course. Muscle memory, the same feeling. on to my 56 degree. I tend to cycle through, so I'll do five to 10 shots with each club until I work up to the driver. And then I work on specifics. One thing I can recommend is coming to the range and doing this practice is really important. I'd also recommend bringing your phone or your camera with you and recording yourself and recording your swing so you get an idea of what your swing looks like and it really sometimes opens up your eyes to things you can make changes on to help improve how your swing works. So I really recommend doing that. And again, cycling through all your clubs, hitting a few shots at a time, working your way up to driver is a really great way to get yourself warmed up and you can really crank some shots. Moving on up to my pitching wedge. One thing. 
thing, one thing you want to do too, is you want to make sure you're aligned and you can see the, the markers. So come to a range that has markers because it helps you identify how far you hit your shot. So I'm hitting my pitching wedge. I know I hit my pitching wedge between like 85 to 100, I believe. And so you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in front of that 125 marker, I'm dropping what looks like 25 or so yards in front of it. So I'm right about the range. And you can also mess with, you know, hitting your club with different strokes different strengths, different speeds, to get an idea for how you can gauge, you know, the club distance in certain situations. All right, moving on to my nine iron. that one a little, a little left. I'm gonna skip from my nine up to my seven. Seven irons feel pretty good. Five iron. Five iron feels good. I'll go with my steelhead three hybrid. All right, now it's time for Big Bertha. So I've worked my way up through my wedges, through my irons, through my hybrids. Now I'm going to go with driver for a handful, hopefully get some good shots. One of the things I can recommend doing is get yourself a target. Mine's gonna be that 75 yard sign and just hit towards the target, practice this, you know, a couple different clubs, a couple different distance clubs, and really try to aim for that target, give yourself practice knowing how hard or how soft the swing, and then your club flight, or your ball flight rather, to know which way the ball's gonna go and really get that honed in. One thing that's really important when you're at a range or even at a golf course is they usually have a putting green or a chipping green or both. I recommend definitely spending some time around there, get honing in your, your tight lies or your short short game. Uh, it's a, I think it goes a long way when you're out on the course. If you can hit a great driver and get yourself close, then you hit two or three shots getting up to the green or you know, you're on the green in two, but you putt in four. That's you know, obviously an opportunity for improvement. So if there's a chipping green, if there's a place that you can uh, get some experience and time there, I highly recommend doing that too. Again, working on all aspects of your game, really honing in on the areas that you need help with. All right, everyone, that does it for today's range session. As I said earlier, the range is a great place to come in and hone your skills. If you're brand new to golf, it's a great place to come before you actually go to a course, get a chance to hit your clubs. A lot of ranges will let you borrow clubs or rent clubs. If you don't even have clubs, it's a great way to see if you like the game. When you're here, like I said, I suggest starting with your wedges and work to your irons and up to your driver, get yourself warmed up, and then really work on the things that you know you need to work on. Pick a target, pick a spot, and hit towards that. Use different clubs to hit towards that. Uh, all those little things will go a long way when you're out on the course because you'll be able to pick targets there and do very similar things. So, like I said before, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that like. It goes a long way to help the channel. Hit notify. We have new videos every Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Our goals here are to educate, entertain, and have fun, and hopefully break the barriers for you getting into golf, for you to learn golf, and for you to enjoy golf. So I'm Bogey King, and as we say every video, you can still have fun even when you're playing plus one. All right, everybody, we'll see you next week. See you later.